Hello dear friends. In this video, I will teach you how to assemble kits and electronics boards. Soldering is used for reliable and safe connection of parts. You may be more or less familiar with doing this. But today we intend to teach you the correct method. In soldering, a special wire is melted by a soldering iron and welds the joint. You comply with the safety tips mentioned. You can do a safe assembly. You can get the relevant accessories from electronics stores. Also, if you wish, you can buy the complete soldering package from me, which is prepared from the best equipment available in the market. The link to my site is in the description the video. Soldering to install electronics components on PCB. For soldering, we must use its tools, which are Soldering iron Soldering iron stand Helping hands soldering Desoldering pump Solder wire Desoldering oil Soldering iron sponge Wire cutter Explain the function of the soldering tool. Soldering iron. Soldering is done with a soldering iron, which has a type of metal that gets extremely hot. The function of the heater is to transfer the heat to the desired point. When the said spot is heated enough, the solder wire is placed on it. The tip of the hoe must be cleaned so that it can conduct the heat well. To clean the tip of the soldering iron. When the tip is hot, you should gently drag the tip on the sponge to remove the old solder from the tip. Of course, this should be done repeatedly during the soldering process. The soldering iron tip is produced in different models. The tapered tip is the most common model on the market and is used in projects that require a high level of finesse. It can also solder small spots well without damaging other parts. Chisel tip models are also wider and are used for soldering large parts and pipes. When you heat the soldering wire, this action can cause oxide to form on the tip of the soldering iron. As a result, when lead accumulation exceeds a certain limit, it will cause defects in soldering operations and temperature transfer. It is necessary to periodically clean the tip of your soldering iron using a brush or sponge.
Soldering iron stand. Soldering iron sponge. Solder iron stand and fireproof sponge. The stand of the soldering iron is used to keep the soldering iron in the reality that we don't need it and our soldering is finished. There is a fireproof sponge inside the chamber, which is used to clean the tip of the soldering iron. Solar wire. It is an alloy of tin and lead that is made in different proportions with a mixed composition, and with a different melting point. Solder that melts at low temperature is used for delicate and small work and is called soft solder. Solder that melts at high temperature is used for soldering large parts and is called hard solder. Solder required for repairing electronic devices such as boards and kits is 63% soft solder, which means 63% tin and 37% lead. Inside the wire there is a substance called brain. The brain removes the oxidation of the tip and cleans the surface involved in the melting process. Soldering oil What is solder grease? Soldering oil is an oil that is highly needed in the soldering profession, and without it, soldering work cannot be performed properly. There are different types of this oil that contain almost the same ingredients. There are three types of solder oil used in soldering. Solid or thick solder oil, which is created at a very low temperature, semi-liquid or semi-thick solder oil, and liquid or thin solder oil, which is much easier to use. This solder oil is made from a combination of two or three types of oil to leave it in a liquid state. This oil should have compounds that help the conductivity of the oil and not become an obstacle to the connection of metals during soldering. Therefore, soldering oil is made of materials called colophon or rosin, which is a kind of solvent that dissolves waste materials and oxygen in itself, and after the soldering place cools. It becomes ineffective and its residue will not cause any problems. What is the difference between solder oil and flux? The difference between what is known in the market as solder oil and what is called flux is in the additional capabilities of flux. Both solder oil and flux will deoxidize the contact area between the parts and the PCB, also increasing the humidity of the board and maintaining the heat will provide the proper shape of the solder. Flux, in addition to the two mentioned, has reduced soldering time. Of course, it should be noted that in most cases, solder oil is the same as flux. What is the substitute for solder grease? The tin paste is one of the materials used in soldering SMD parts and is a combination of flux, tin powder, and lead. In soldering SMD parts with hot air, it is not possible to use solder wire and tin paste as used. In these cases, the paste is exposed to heat and infrared rays melt and connect the electronic components to the printed circuit fiber. Desoldering pump. Desoldering. When we have installed a part by mistake, we have to remove it from the board and remove its bases. For this, first remove the solder and re-solder. For this purpose, we use a tin can. Solder sucker is a small syringe-like pump that is placed in the hand. This pump removes the solder from the surfaces by creating vacuum pressure. Solder sucker is a good tool and does its job properly.
Step 1. Push the pump's end until it snaps into place. This compresses a spring, causing it to latch in the depressed position. With your soldering iron, heat the old solder. Heat the old solder with the tip of your soldering iron until it melts. As the old solder melts, you may press the terminal with the soldering iron tip at the same time to help liberate the component. Step 2. The molten solder should be vacuumed up. Without applying pressure, place the desoldering pump tip on the solder pad and melted the solder. When the spring is released, the piston returns swiftly. This generates a vacuum that draws the molten solder into the pump. During operation, the pump's tip may melt somewhat. Most pumps have replaceable tips or are inexpensive. To begin with, but you may try to minimize damage by stopping for a few seconds after melting the solder. Melted solder can harden fast again. Only use one terminal at a time. Step 3. Remove the desoldering pump and throw it away. Push the pump down over a garbage can after each usage to rearm it and empty it away from the solder. If the old solder is left within, it may seep out when you vacuum the next terminal. Step 4. Troubleshoot problematic connections. It is common for numerous passes with the soldering iron and pump to be required before the component comes free. If you haven't made any progress after a few attempts, try any or all of the following modifications. Apply flux first to aid the flow of the molten solder. Melt a little amount of fresh solder to combine with the old, hardened solder. For through hole connections, gently wriggle the terminal from side to side with the tip of the soldering iron. This breaks the connection to the hole's sidewalls. Step 5. Clear the table. Because brown resin can melt when heated, you may find it sticking around the solder pad. You can remove it using a professional resin cleaner or by carefully scraping it away with a tiny flathead screwdriver or steel wool. Finish by washing the area with an isopropyl alcohol dampened toothbrush. The pressure from the iron or pump may cause the solder pad to slip somewhat. As long as the traces connecting the pad to the other components are still intact, it should still operate. If the traces are damaged, you must solder new ones on. If there are still remnants of solder on the pad, a desoldering braid, as detailed below, can easily take them up. Helping Hands Soldering The tool that is seen on every electronics workbench. The third hand holds a PCB board as you solder it. Its arms are fully adjustable in all directions and help to give you maximum flexibility. Its bottom arm has two alligator clips on either side which can be used to fix boards. Also, the third hand comes in handy when you have the tin wire ends, solder parts, etc. A high power magnifying glass magnifies the point being soldered. The magnifying glass can also be rotated and adjusted to any desired position. To support me, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, press the bell button for notifications.
subscribe to my channel for new videos, share my videos, write me a comment. Thank you.